Hello guys, this is Herman from Visaya. We are halfway through 2017 and maybe it's time to check out on our New Year's resolutions. So I want to cut out on beer, eat healthier and lose a couple of pounds. Let's see how I'm doing. It's too good to be true. Is this digital weight working properly? How can I check this? To explain this, I need to introduce two new concepts accuracy and precision. I will use this dartboard to explain these concepts. When playing darts, the closer your shot is to the bullseye, the more accurate this shot is. But since I'm not so good at playing darts, they will look more like this, really inaccurate. Precision, on the other hand, refers to how close a set of measurements are to each other, like in this case. You may see that all the shots are grouped in a section of the board, but they're still inaccurate since they are far away from the bullseye. So how can I check if my weight is accurate and precise? If you want to check the accuracy of a digital weight, you have to use an object with a known weight, like for example, a pound of sugar. Or even better, you could use the kilogram platinum iridium standard and then compare the difference between the standard and the measured value. Of course, there are no perfect measuring instruments and there are accepted ranges of error depending on the measuring principle and application. The purpose of checking this error is called calibration. Let's see another example. The Orangina Suntory company in France produces some of the most popular refreshment drinks like Shreps or Orangina. They use a combination of vortex, magnetic and choreosphrometers in order to measure and handle the fluids like water, steam and the delicious finished product. For about a week every year, they shut out the line for maintenance activities. During this time, they perform as well calibration of all the instruments. Working together with Andres Hauser, they installed a calibration rig that is able to calibrate the flometers in the plant with the same accuracy as on a laboratory by using reference flometers that are more precise than the ones using the plant, they are able to compare the flow value during the test and make sure that the instruments are working within the appropriate range of accuracy and error. If the instruments are out of range and the error is higher than the one accepted, there are several actions that can be undertaken, like adjustments and compensation of the error with transmitters or controllers. It's good to clarify that calibration and adjustments are two separate things. Calibration allows us to know how instruments are behaving, whereas adjustments changes the behavior of an instrument. And now that I have calibrated and adjusted my digital weight, I think I have to adjust my diet if I want to be part of the next Orangina commercial. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I see you next week.